Hello, I am Arun from Supportost. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about how to install Redis Cache Server on cPanel based servers. Redis is an open source in memory data structure store used as a database cache and message broker that can be used as a drop in cache backend for our own Drupal or WordPress websites or any other websites. And also, popular platforms like WordPress. WordPress has a plugin named Redis Object Cache to integrate with Redis Cache Server. In case of cPanel service, we need to install the Redis Caching Server manually in it. And today we discuss further about this. First of all, the Redis daemon and the Redis PHP extension is the one we need to install in our server. For completing the installation steps, we will need root access to your server. So if you don't have a root access to the service, get it first. And and now let's see how we can implement redis server i have also prepared a blog article for the same and the link is available in the description box before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos all right let's get started so the first thing is install version of the redis daemon in our cpanel server for that first login to our cpanel server over ssh terminal as root user here i already logged into the server over ssh and you can see that from the screen from there first issue the command m install apple release which will install the apple rep repository in the server so let's issue the command in our ssh terminal confirm the install by by typing y in the terminal and wait to get it completed after that install the redis package using command m install redis space minus y and wait to get it completed once the install code completed start and enable the redis service using commands systemctl start redis service and systemctl enable redis so let's issue those two commands in the terminal one by one and now we have successfully started the redis service in the server after that we can confirm the redis is running in the server by issuing the command nestat minus nlpa pipe grep 6379 because 6379 is the default redis server port number so let's issue this nestat command in the server and here we can see it's running fine and tcp port 6379 is listening in the server after that in order to make sure the redis daemon is responding fine we can also run the redis command redis cli space ping if you get the result of that command as pong that shows that redis is working fine so let's issue the command redis cli ping in our sss terminal and here we can see the response as pong as we mentioned earlier and the result can be seen from the ssh terminal itself as pong which confirms that the install redis server package is fine and is successfully running at this point the redis caching server is up and running on our server and normally the configuration file of redis is located at slash etc redis.conf so open the file slash etc redis.conf using any text editor through our sss terminal itself here i am using the vi editor so let me open the file using vi editor as vi command then followed by the file name slash etc redis.conf so now we open the file and from there go to the insert mode and add the lines max memory 512 mb and then another line max memory iphone policy as alt key iphone lru here i am adding the lines at the end of the file slash etc redis.conf and these two values will set a memory limit for our redis package install so let's add those entries in the file and also you can set the value of max memory as per your desire and system resources available in this example i am setting the memory limit as 512 mb so save the file content and exit from the file editing mode 
okay this completes the install of redis server on a cpanel server and now we are proceeding with the installation of redis php extension without this redis php extensions our website won't be able to communicate with the redis server installed in the cpanel server so for installing the redis php extension we need to issue the command slash opt cpanel ea php 74 root user bin slash pcl then followed by the install redis here i am assuming that our website is using the php version as 7.4 if your website php version is different change the pcl binary location accordingly as per your environment which means if your php version is 8 then the command will be like slash opt slash cpanel slash ea php 80 slash root slash user slash bin slash pcl then followed by install redis so let's run this command in the sss terminal and here in the enable ig binary serializer support leave the default option and just hit enter in the enable else of compression support leave the default option and hit enter in the enable set the std compression support leave the default option and hit enter and here we can see the perl install will start automatically so let's wait to get it completed and now we can see the install code completed message is showing in the terminal and let's confirm the install is correct by running another command which is slash opts then slash cpanel slash eaphp74 slash root slash user slash bin slash php then followed by minus m pipe grep redis so let's issue this verification command in the sss terminal itself and here we can see from the output the redis php extension is enabled in the server and is showing up when we use the php module list command okay this concludes the php redis extension installed in the server now let's proceed with the next section which is the installation of redis object cache plugin on our wordpress website so let's see how we can integrate the installed redis cache server with our wordpress website using wordpress plugin named redis object cache then only the caching will work for our wordpress websites if your website is not wordpress use corresponding codes available or plugins available for integration so follow coming up method if you have wordpress website here i already have a website named training.supportos.in and i hold also installed the wordpress application in it so the first thing is log into the wp admin area of our website here i I already logged into our website WP admin area. So from WP admin area left side panel under plugin section click add new option and now search a plugin named redis object cache. The redis object cache plugin will show up and click install now button. Wait until the plugin got successfully installed. After that click activate button. Now we will automatically redirect to settings redis section in the wp admin area itself from there use enable redis object cache option and now we will see the status message as connected which means that our wordpress website is successfully connected to our redis server and this completes the install of redis cache plugin through wp admin area which is a straightforward method now in order to test whether the wordpress install is cached by our redis server issue redis cli monitor command over ssh and click any link in the wp admin area so let's issue this command in the terminal and wait after that click any link from the wp admin area now go back to our terminal again and from the terminal output we can see hit results it means that our wordpress website requests are caching through the redis server okay and this concludes a normal install of redis cache server on a cpanel service i hope this video is informative thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like the video and leave your thoughts at the comment box see you soon on next video